Most point of Russia's domain, the Franz Josef Franz Land Josef Island. Island. They are right above Nova Great Zemlya, which has the Jill. largest glacier in Europe, and also the site where the largest atom bomb ever was dropped. Fun fact. Amidst all Dude, can you visit that? Is there pictures of that? Can you see pictures where they brought the Tsar bomb? Is there pictures? Can you Dude, I'm this so must be so interesting. Yes, no, no, yes, no, 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 yeah. I love you, chat man. I love you guys. Google it? Send me a picture. Send oh, me a link. There's a it is picture as of being part of this how it looks like taiga where the top bomb taiga forest. Show me. It exploded in the air. There's a video. Show me. It doesn't look that big, does it? I felt like a nuke looks the same. Ooh. Well, yeah, okay. That doesn't help that much. Sveno destroyed. We're safe. I can now just be AFK. Is this bad to see? 50 megaton Tsar bomb. Someone has a timestamp, please? Thank me later. This must have been so many years ago. This thing can legit kill all of Germany. Yeah, I know this thing. Shirt. If they blow this up in like the Mariana Trench, they can like make the tsunamis food. and shit. Uh, thank you, Denki, and thank you. Sorry, man. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone. I can't keep up. Thank you, Ben Skull. 50 megatons. They even have more megatons nowadays, right? They have like a hundred. Dude, the human race should have never reached that level, man. I think he's saying... I think he's saying if you are close to this thing, like 200 kilometers, you're fucking fucked, mate. You are fucked, bro. Jesus Christ. The pilot survived. Well, he probably was very up in the air. Oh, you probably shouldn't look at this thing in real life. Alter, that's real, man. It's hard for me to see the, 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 the... Like, you should put the Hiroshima bomb next to it, because I think... This is a... The Hiroshima bomb is just, like, this tall. I get, I have no idea. It's hard to, for the brain to put it into scale, you know? Oh, that's fucking mental. Oh, that's a Size comparison of nukes. Man, this is not good, dude. We're too dumb to fly to the moon, but we have bombs like this, man. That's fucking crazy. Nuclear explosion power comparison. This is a hand grenade. Nice video, man. Anti-tank landmine. Nape. Oh my god. Jeez, whoa, calm down. You're going too fast. Holy manka. Deko, was geht mit dem? Mother of all bombs. Uh, Donald Trump pushed that into an ISIS base, I remember. Father of all bombs. Most powerful nuke. They should put like a skyscraper next to it, so I understand. Neutron bomb, Alter. Oh. Nukes are scary as fuck, at least if it's dropped on you, your mind will not be able to process what is happening, like when a submarine implodes. EMP Halifax explosion. Largest accidental. Wait, one. What? Halifax explosion. Ha accidental. Halifax explosion. What? 1970, a French ship collided with a Norwegian ship. Oh, damn, that must have been, ouch. Like that video from Libanon might be a joke against that. Jeez, 1970. You have a date now, Ben Stone? Good luck, man, I thought. Holy shit, is it as big as the Mount Everest? Little boy, ow. And that, that's fucking little boy from World War II. Now watch that snowball, I thought, shit is fucking mental, dude. Fat man, ah, god damn it. Kol Kolbat bomb. The radiation is worse than the blast. I th it's as big as Mount Everest. This is so mental. That's actually fucking scary, man. The human race literally has the power to, to, to just... I hate all. Oh, <sighs>
That's like fucking 10 Mount Everests. There's nothing left. Holy crap, man. That shit is not good, dude. That's not good. Saw bomba. There it is. It's not the biggest. This is the most powerful bomb ever. Look at the. I, I told you. Hiroshima is a joke against that. Oh, that's mental. That's mental. Um. No, what, what I'm looking for? No, no, no. What I'm looking for? Yeah, this one. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit is so fucking crazy, dude. Like, the Hiroshima bomb was actually such a joke if you think about it. Yeah, Nagasaki, fat man. Dropping it on Berlin. Dude, it's only Berlin Mitte. If you live like. The city is not gone. As fucked up as it sounds, the Hiroshima and Nagasaki weren't that crazy. And then you look what happens nowadays with the fucking Tsar Bomba. And it's just, just gone. That is so. The human brain can't imagine witnessing this. The human brain can't handle that. Like all of this gone? Made by a human apparatus? What? What? Well, I will be alive, but fuck. That is. Holy shit, man. Politicians should come together and find a way to, you know, denuclearize the fucking world, man. That shit is. Danach steigt erstmal der Soli. Ah, that's fucking crazy, man. Try this. Yeah, I get it. Okay, man, I get it. Ah, that's scary shit, man. That is scary shit, dude. I understand when scientists said that they, like... Who was the scientist who apologized for making the nuke? Wasn't it Einstein that said he's sorry for being part of the nuke and shit? I mean, imagine you're part of... Uh, Oppenheimer said that. Imagine shit like that, man. You literally created something too crazy. There's a video where Oppenheimer apologizes? He knew the world would not be the same. Talking about the Hindu he should do his story duty. and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says now I am become death the destroyer of worlds it's a deep shit bro I suppose we all thought that one way or another was this after uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki the world would not I don't know so much about this did they drop Hiroshima and Nagasaki and then he was still alive? So he was still alive knowing his creation killed all these people? Yes, he was. Oh, that must. Ay, 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 man. That must be heavy. That must be heavy on your fucking brain, dude. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. This was 66 years later. Really? How is he still alive then? He saw the destruction and regretted it. Ay, ay, ay. It's a big, it's a, it's a weird question with um, nukes. In a weird way, nukes are important to preserve world peace. Uh, in a weird way, if I was an American in 1945, I would have been like, yeah, nuke the Japanese. Because I would be an idiot who didn't, couldn't think further. I would be like, stop this fucking nonsense war. God damn, man. Nukes are... Ah, no one should have this power. 66 years? Yeah, well, probably fake news. Dude, everything, most of... Chat is always fake news. What would happen if we detonated humanity's most powerful nuclear weapon at the deepest point of the ocean? For sure, tsunamis hundreds of meters high would destroy coastal cities, earthquakes would level countries, new volcanoes would bring us nuclear winter. More people would have died if they had to invade Earth main could Japan, be ripped though. apart or thrown out of orbit. Could be, yeah. Well, In the almost. end, the issue is all these arrogant fucking leaders, man, that don't just want to capitulate. Currently, we see Earth's right now. deepest known point is inside the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is a very deep valley right at the edge of two tectonic plates. I cannot believe that fucking human beings, especially James Cameron, were, <coughs> they were right here. He was actually down there. How epic is that as a story? Imagine you go to a party. 
How are you? Oh, I can't do a backflip. And who are you? I was in the movie. Yeah, I was in the fucking Mariana Trench, motherfucker. That is so sick. What? So I'm just waiting for a child and you go. <coughs> that looks oh. like an upside down mountain. It reaches a depth of about... Check an... Operation Downfall, the US plan if Japan didn't surrender. You have a link? Wait. You guys are scaring me. Operation Downfall. Was the Allied plan... Ah, uh, English, English, English. Um, was the proposed Allied plan for the invasion of the Japanese home islands near the end of World War II. <coughs> the planned operation was cancelled when Japan surrendered. Okay. Planning. Operation Katsu... Whoa, 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 man. Okay, okay. Okay, cool. 11 kilometers, almost three times deeper than the dark <coughs> grave of the Titanic. Titanic it's isn't even that deep, deep places so crazy. for humans to explore. Pitch black, and under a thousand atmospheres of pressure, it's a relatively pristine environment thanks to the absence of humans. A great place for our nuclear test. We'll use the most powerful nuclear bomb humans have ever exploded. It's always hard for me to take videos like this series because of the childish design. It's like this design is made to get viewers, to make people believe it, to subscribe. It doesn't look very... It, look, it looks RDS polemic. It doesn't look very scientific. Hydrogen bomb or Tsar Bomber. Its explosion was so massive that its shockwave traveled around the Earth three times and its mushroom what? cloud stretched 56 kilometers into the sky. Like, imagine it's you're chilling in Finland and your fucking windows break because the Russians are doing this shit. Kilometers, it's Jeez, man. Hot enough to Don't you sue the, the Russian government for repairing? Bombs like this release such an enormous amount of energy at once that they could boil away an entire lake. And if we set off a nuclear bomb in the Mariana Trench, that's exactly what happens. Let's pull the trigger. In the first few microseconds, the nuclear fuel undergoes its chain reaction and explodes with the power of 50 megatons of TNT. A blinding. I don't actually know how nukes work. I remember movies, it's about the atom getting split, but I don't really know. A flash of light how that illuminates shit works. the darkness of the trench for the first time in history. <clears throat> the heat of the explosion produces a cavity. A flaming bubble of water vapor, radioactive nuclei, and the remains of very unlucky fish. The bubble grows quickly as it vaporizes the water around it. The pressure of the bubble is immense, plowing outwards as if there's nothing in the way, sending off a shock wave that will be felt by seismic stations and whales around the world. And then, almost as fast as it emerges, it stops. On the surface of the Earth, this fireball bubble would grow to 10 kilometers the second after it's detonated, as the atmosphere barely puts up a fight to hold it back. Ah. But the ah. pressure at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is enormous. With 11 kilometers of water overhead, yeah, being in the Mariana small. Trench is like being crushed by a hydraulic press from every direction. Here, a second after the detonation, our bubble is about a kilometer across, when, oddly enough, it starts to shrink. The bubble overextends itself, losing pressure as it expands until the water turns it back, recompressing it. The tug of war between the fiery death bubble and water goes back and forth a few times, the bubble shrinking and growing He's until eventually the bubble dude. loses for good. The pressure around it is too great and turbulent water begins to chop it up. It becomes something like the underwater equivalent of a mushroom cloud. Ah, so this is the more realistic version. In the other version, it's like the whole world is gonna get tsunami. Um, one sec, I'm just paying attention. Okay, Hugo, can you get a chance? We're actually close to into many smaller hot and radioactive bubbles drifting upwards. And as our mighty destructive blast uh. rises to the surface, it does basically nothing. Just a small wave and a bubbling plume of radioactive warm water in the Pacific. No tsunami will wash away Japan or California, although boats and whales in the area might have a bad time. In the first video, they said like uh, everything the dies. Shit, you know? will be diluted into the Pacific after a few uh, days. Ah, the radiation. A fair man. amount of radioactive water and salt makes it to the atmosphere, ah, where it collects fuck. and then rains down again. Ah. Even if the wind blows the fallout directly towards the Philippines, the worst of it probably happens over the oceans. But clearly, the real danger comes from our explosion triggering earthquakes and volcanoes, right? Oh, here we go. Even if we detonated the bomb right in the trench at the exact point where tectonic plates touch, probably not. 
The explosion would vaporize a part of the sea floor and turn a lot of sand into glass, but most of the energy goes into the water, not mm. seismic waves. Earthquakes are already quite common at tectonic plate boundaries. And earthquakes with as much seismic energy as our bomb happen a few times a year without triggering any sort of apocalypse. But maybe it will affect the Earth's orbit. Since no mass is taken away or added to the Earth, our orbit is completely unaffected. Infinite glass also, in there have been well over a thousand nuclear tests in the last 70 years, and that didn't change our orbit. So this so is like the real video. The one be before is really fake. The strongest man. forces humanity can unleash are laughable compared to the forces of nature. The planet is too big. It doesn't care. So what happens to us if we detonate a nuclear weapon really deep in the ocean? Pretty much nothing. Ah, oh, the other way there before? So this didn't, wasn't this used to be a German channel and now he's like international or something? Huh.